Yo, with Julian on the brown note and a very quick shout out to Anthony Fantano or The Needle Drop, the internet's busiest music nerd and in this post-pitchfork wasteland, probably the most preeminent online music critic at the moment, certainly as an individual. And his recent very politicized posting, which has been amazing to watch, I remember a few years ago where Fantano was being accused of being an alt-right poster boy for sharing videos that were, you know, memes or videos that were popular with the alt-right gang. Anyone that has listened to him talk would be insane to think that he was ever an alt-right poster boy. That was clearly never true. But that's certainly not been true since. I think the um, backlash he's got amongst the rather toxic fanboys that make up a percentage of his very large online support base having enormous problems with his attacking Kanye West for his recent views and anti-semitism and so on uh, which he's got a lot of stick for but recently he's up to gear massively which virtually no one out there in the music world and in the journalistic world is doing So he came out in huge support for the artist Macklemore, who might be the Coldplay of rap in some areas, but has always been front-footed when it comes to social issues, but particularly when it comes to the genocide and mass murder in Gaza, uh, which has led to him getting enormous stick. And the piece by the needle drop on that I thought was very, very good celebrating what he was standing for and also criticizing the fact that most musicians who who claim to be social justice warriors will not go near this issue with a barge pole so that was great but then the review of the new outstanding godspeed you black emperor album with one of the most provocative titles and latently clever titles called no title as of 13 february 2000 and 24, 28,340 dead. It's a clever title because it insists that the listener refer back to what the total of the dead in Gaza is now. And they've always been a heavily political band with the caveat that they're instrumental. But listening to this astonishing album, it's clear that it's a very politicized record without words or without many words. I'll put links to both the Macklemore thing and to the incredible review of the Godspeed album by The Needle Drop in the, uh, probably in the title of this piece because it's astonishing how uh, he's clearly very, very heartfelt about what he's saying and almost analogous to the want of the album itself spends an inordinate amount of time discussing that title, what it means, and the events of Gaza, um, which virtually no one in his position is doing, paying its scant lip service, fearing for their careers, and so on, and he goes hell for leather, and there's a very strong coda at the end of the review. So I just wanted to shout out to celebrate uh, what the needle drop and Anthony Fantano has done here um, putting himself on the line and the response I think has been very excellent if you look at the commentary on YouTube but well done mate